Campbell's download 141. Andrew and Dan's been morning. a couple of weeks. Uh, morning. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done this. So we're going, what yeah, Dawn Bush yeah. Dan loading up to? What it's like, yeah. So we're starting to, it's like radio. Special good morning to our friends at the ABC. Uh, so it's been a nine weeks to go, and then we're up to uh, Dawn Bush download 150. That's amazing, isn't it? No idea what we're going to be talking about, but anyway, I'm sure we'll. Let's uh, hope it's positive, Andrew. It, we're always positive. We're the glass half full type of people That's here it. at Dornbush Partners. So a couple of things that we thought we might talk about today. We thought we might talk about why the share market seems to be going on a bit of a run. Yesterday had its, we had our best day in seven months and this morning um, after about an hour or so it's looking pretty okay. I uh, thought we might also talk about um, tax loss selling and you know what's the story there. And then finally touch on uh, there's a new ETF product and we've spoken a few times about what exchange traded funds are called Coupon, coupon. by BetaShares who we're going to be having come to town on the 12th of July. But again, we can touch on that in a second. So Dan, share market. Andrew, what? what's, yeah, something's going wrong here. Normally we just waffle on and move from one to the other. <laughs> we're actually setting an agenda today. That's well, just not you right. know, we, we've got to keep people on their toes. <laughs> they might think that we're just being loquacious. And now if know, we forget something, you're going to be in trouble. I'm in all sorts of trouble. That's why we have <laughs> great editors at 1300 Web Pro. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about why is the share market running along, Dan? What's the uh, what's the game? Well, options expiry today, Andrew, so that's... Um, it does crazy things to people, doesn't it, options and expiry? So it could be higher now but end up in the red at the end of the day, which I don't think so. No. But looking at some of the numbers, the, the actual targets are lower in September. So whilst it's a bit higher now, it could well come off. And seasonally, the market does sort of, you know, have a bit of a hissy fit till the end of June, doesn't it? So it's a technical term for those playing term. at home. Yeah. And you're right, May and June is a pretty ordinary time of the year. Yeah. Um, my, I, and I agree with everything you're saying. I think the other thing, though, I look at is take like Combank. We'll pick on Combank. You know, if you look back at our previous Dornbush downloads, even a month ago, they were sort of $87, $88. They bottomed out on last Friday at $78. Mm. Uh, so a drop of nearly 11% in a month. And yes, the bank levy probably didn't help things. And bank profit reporting season for ANZ, NAB and Westpac wasn't stellar, but it wasn't dreadful either. No. And so they got heavily sold off, and I think people are looking at Saycom Bank and even the other banks, Westpac rallied 2.8% yesterday, saying this is too much, it's come off too much, we probably need to start buying the banks back again. So, and given that banks are 40% of the index, I think that's probably helping kick things along a little bit as well. I still, I still seem to think that it's going to fall. Oh, right, post, so once we get through 1 till, July... Till the end of June, yeah. anyway. Yeah, and I mean, because we had a great run there from November through to we did. end of April. Yes. And so I guess that's a great segue into, thank you, Dan, around tax Pleasure. loss selling. Thank you very much. You got, that's why you're on the big bucks. Um, 50 cents an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so from the point of view, and a special good morning to those at Fair Work Australia who are also watching, um, you know, I think that we're seeing a bit of tax loss selling as well. play through into the market as yep. well, whereby for the, from July through to November the share market was flat, then the Don gets in, goes for a run through till about May, he gets, you know, people trying to start impeaching him, uh, James Comey, all that sort of stuff, and I think that's been the trigger or the impetus for a bit of um, tax loss selling, locking in those gains. Yeah coming into 30 June, and you're right, you know, there's probably going to be a bit more of that. And I think just on tax loss selling, it's one of those things, if you've made up your mind to do it, you've just got to do it. You know, you're cutting a loss, and that's what it's actually doing, isn't it? So and it's an excellent point, you know, because our world is investment. Yes. We, we don't give tax advice, you know. Um, and so when we're telling people, you know, we think you should be selling this, sure, tax might be a consideration, and you need to put that into the mix before you make your decision, yep. but we don't view it solely on the tax no. basis. We're looking at it. Why is it not working? Is there a chance for it to bounce back? Should we be buying more of it? Because to me, that's actually the number one question. If something's not working, take TPG. I'll pick on TPG. You know, excellent company, under pressure at the moment because they're building two networks in Singapore and Australia. They did that capital raising that the share market wasn't particularly enthused about. And so the shares are under pressure. And, you know, I've had a few clients say, tax loss selling, should I sell it? I'm going, no, I'd actually be buying more of it. So the first question is, would you buy more of it? If not, then that's probably your trigger to think about selling it. Yeah. So, but we are finding there's a lot of tax loss selling uh, discussions taking place in the office at the moment. 
Yes, and, and there's a lot through the media, Andrew, as well. So. Mm, absolutely. Mm. Couldn't come up with a segue for the last one, sadly. So, um, BetaShares, uh, one of our sort of ETF providers. Yeah. And we'll put a link in at the bottom of our little video here about where you can learn more about ETFs. The Stock Exchange have a great little video series. Um, but there's a new one called Coupon. Do you want to briefly talk no. to us about Coupon? Great. Well, thanks very much. We'll see you <laughs> next week. We're seeing more and more of those that come out, Andrew, aren't we? And, and with, you know, investment strategies and needing to have some other, um, something else in your mix other than just Australian shares, that's where these um, really come into their own, don't they? Rather than leave it in cash, you're investing in cash, basically, but mm -hmm. on the market, um, it's, well, not in cash, but you're linked to cash. Sure. Um, on the market, so, you know, simply in and out, at term deposit rates. Yeah, so there's the AAA product that beta shares have, and it's 2% from memory. Uh, and then this new coupon product, QPON, it invests 80% into a range of bank hybrids, so ANZ, NAB, Westpac, yep. Combank, and then the other 20% into either regional banks or Macquarie or AMP notes. So instead of, you know, picking I like a NAB node or I like a Westpac node or for those people here in Toowoomba, Heritage Bank notes, HBS, HB, um, the monies are going to be returned to um, unit holders, note holders, note holders next yeah. Monday. And they're saying to us, well, what can I invest in to get a similar type of exposure, understanding that you're not going to get 7% like they were paying. That was an outstanding rate of return. Yes. And those coupons also pay a monthly distribution as well, which is quite attractive as well. But you're right, you're not investing in term deposits. Term deposits, of course, are government guaranteed up to um, 250,000. Yeah. These are investing in a range of hybrids listed on the stock exchange, which can be volatile. So you do need to keep that in mind. But you're right, in the context of looking at people's portfolios and shares and cash, are there other investment classes they could be looking at to help smooth their return try and drive a better income, yeah. albeit with more volatility. And, you know, this coupon product as an example, yeah. that AAA yeah. might be a couple of things to think about, talking to your door and bush advisor as to what might suit you. Yeah. And we do have uh, Gent from Better Shares mm. coming up on the 12th of July, as you mentioned, and I'm mm. sure that'll be one of the products. So we're looking at three three presentations there. Um, Count them. Around lunchtime and mid-afternoon for income mm -hmm. generation, people that need income. Um, and then the last one, more so for people on accumulation, looking for growth. So a bit of a mixed bag. So we'll yeah. have them on the toes. So time. Adam from Beta Shares, and you know, in the past we've had David and we've had Tanya yep. uh, and Peter, great supporters of our business, and equally so ours of theirs. We really like their products, so certainly something to consider yes. coming along to. Uh, we'll uh, be uh, inviting clients along, but in the interim, make sure you touch base with us. Have a chat to Claire. She'll put you down on the invite list. Very good. I think that's about us done for this yep. week. Wait till next week. Thank you. Bye.